हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर अजय कुमार सिन्हा प्रोफेसर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस लिथियम आयन बैटरी दिस इज एज ए ट्रिब्यूट टू नोबेल साइंटिस्ट जॉन बैनिस्टर good enough novel laureate who gave the world lithium ion batteries passed away recently he was the co-winner of 2019 novel prize for chemistry he was just a month short of turning 101 he has given to the world he has contributed to the world lithium ion battery nowadays everywhere in the world lithium lithium ion battery is going to be used or they are using now as a tribute to the novel scientist i will discuss his work on lithium ion battery i will tell about the lithium ion battery what is actually lithium ion battery i will discuss now a conventional lithium ion battery consists of carbon carbon you can tell graphite as cathode and uh, metal oxide such as lith- lithium cobalt oxide forms the anode here you have to remember lithium ion battery consists of carbon which you can tell graphite as cathode and a metal oxide such as lithium cobalt oxides forms the anode now anode and cathode you are knowing now come to the electrolyte the electrolyte consists of a lithium salt in an in an organic solvent actually in any cell these three things are important anode cathode and electrolyte then i told about the carbon as cathode carbon or you can tell graphite as cathode and a metal oxide such as lithium cobalt oxide l i c o o2 cobalt oxide this forms a node and electrolyte the electrolyte consists of a lithium salt in an organic solvent organic solvent the salts include lithium hexafluorophosphate li p f6 other also lithium tetra fluoroborate this also can be used as salt lithium tetra bluoro lithium tetra fluoro borate li b f4 and uh, lithium perchlorate lithium perchlorate means li cl o4 can also be used as electrolyte three electrolyte generally it is used anyone anyone first lithium hexafluorophosphate li p6 this can be used as electrolyte and uh, second electrolyte which can be used lithium tetrafluoroborate li b4 and third third electrolyte which can be used that is the lithium perchlorate l i c l o 4 any one out of three any one can be used 
and as the solvent what we can use the solvent used here ethylene carbonate dimethyl carbonate dimethyl carbonate and uh, diethyl carbonate any one any one solvent can be used first ethylene carbonate can be used second dimethyl carbonate can be used and third diethyl diethyl carbonate can be used any one a non aqueous electrolyte these are actually non aqueous a non aqueous electrolyte is used because lithium is highly reactive and reacts vigorously with water to form lithium hydroxide and hydrogen that's why a non aqueous electrolyte is used because lithium is highly reactive and reacts vigorously with water that's why non aqueous electrolyte is used lithium ion batteries produce 3.6 volt importance of lithium ion batteries i am telling you it pro it produces high voltage lithium ion batteries produce 3.6 volts three times three times that produced by nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydride batteries three times more this is also common battery nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydride batteries what it produces uh, this volt now lithium ion battery produces three times more they have high energy density lithium ion batteries have high energy density low self discharge actually it will not discharge as this uh, um, regularly very slow if you are not using then it will it will discharge very very slowly okay very very slowly low self discharge the electrolyte acts as a carrier what is the role of electrolyte i am telling you the electrolyte acts as a carrier between the positive and negative electrolyte electrodes okay the electrolytes acts as a carrier between the positive and negative electrodes when current flows through an external circuit main role of electrolyte as a carrier okay it carries uh, charge it carries charge its main role is as a carrier in lithium ion battery what happens actually main things i will tell about the lithium ion batteries what is the main things how does battery functions and what is the important of uh, batteries here i will tell you by reaction what happens actually in lithium batteries actually here i want to tell you that in any batteries in any batteries there is a flow of electron flow of electron is called electricity okay and flow of charge is also called electricity both way you can tell flow of electron is called electricity and flow of charge in aqueous solution is also called electricity correct electricity means flow of electron or flow of charge this you should understand a lithium ion battery in lithium ion battery lithium ions move between the electrodes two electrodes are there anode and cathode then lithium ions moves between the electrodes this is the important things using an 
इंटरकैलेटेड इलेक्ट्रोड मटेरियल इन लिथियम आयन बैटरी लिथियम आयन मूव बिटवीन द इलेक्ट्रोड्स यूजिंग एन इंटरकैलेटेड इलेक्ट्रोड मटेरियल व्हाट इज दिस इंटरकैलेटेड इलेक्ट्रोड मटेरियल्स देर इज ए मेन रोल ऑफ दिस मटेरियल ओनली इंटरकैलेटेड इलेक्ट्रोड मटेरियल मेन रोल व्हाट इज दिस हाउ नाउ आई एम टेलिंग यू मेटल एटम्स एंड आयन्स बोथ मेटल एटम्स लाइक लिथियम एंड आयन्स लाइक एल आई वन प्लस दिस द आयन्स देन मेटल आयन्स एंड एटम मेटल एटम एंड आयन्स बोथ कैन इंटर लेयर्ड सॉलिड्स रिवर्सिबली ओके सच ए प्रोसेस इज रेफर टू एज इंटरकालेशन दिस इज कॉल्ड इंटरकालेशन मीन्स मूवमेंट ऑफ मेटल एटम्स एंड आयन्स मूवमेंट ऑफ मेटल एटम एंड आयन्स थ्रू लेयर्ड सॉलिड्स रिवर्सिबली मीन्स इन बोथ इलेक्ट्रोड्स बोथ कैन गो आयन्स ऑल्सो इन एंड एटम ऑल्सो बिकॉज दीज सॉलिड्स आर इन लेयर फॉर्म दीज सॉलिड एन आइड एंड एन आइड एंड कैट एनो नॉट एन आइड एनोड एंड कैथोड मटेरियल्स आर इन लेयर्ड लेयर्ड सॉलिड्स देन एटम एंड आयन्स बोथ कैन इंटर बोथ कैन इंटर्ड लेयर्ड सॉलिड्स रिवर्सिबली ओके मीन बोथ वे ओके रिवर्सिबली मीन्स वॉट इन बोथ वेज मीन्स फ्रॉम ए नॉट टू कैथोड ऑल्सो कैथोड टू ए नॉट ऑल्सो दिज दिज मेटल एटम्स एंड आयन्स कैन इंटर लेयर्ड सॉलिड्स रिवर्सिबली दिस इज द मेन थिंग दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड इंटरकालेशन बोथ ग्रेफाइट कैथोड एंड कोवाल्ट ऑक्साइड एनोड आर लेयर्ड सॉलिड्स बोथ मेनोड एंड कैथोड आर लेयर्ड सॉलिड्स हेयर कैथोड इज ग्रेफाइट एंड एनोड इज कोवाल्ट ऑक्साइड ओके कोवाल्ट ऑक्साइड एंड दिस कोवाल्ट ऑक्साइड एक्चुअली कन्वर्ट्स इंटू कन्वर्ट्स इंटू लिथियम कोवाल्ट ऑक्साइड लिथियम विल कम टू द कोवाल्ट ऑक्साइड एंड इट विल फॉर्म लिथियम कोवाल्ट ऑक्साइड एंड दिस फंक्शन एज एनोड एंड दिस थिंग्स कैथोड इज ग्रेफाइट कैथोड इज ग्रेफाइट और कार्बन यू कैन टेल देन बोथ ग्रेफाइट कैथोड and cobalt oxide anode are layered solids and can accommodate metal metals and their ions in between the layers okay this is the very very important that in both in in graphite in graphite also means anode and cathode graphite is cath is a cathode and cobalt oxide is a node then in both metals and their ions can be accommodated in between the layers now layer uh, lithium now lithium enters the cobalt oxide layers and forms lico2 cobalt oxide lithium cobalt oxide lithium uh, enters the cobalt oxide layer and forms lithium cobalt oxide now what will happen during discharge i am telling you now means you are using the battery that time what will happen how will it work that i am going to tell you during discharge means use is called discharge okay when you are using the battery 
दैट इज कॉल्ड डिस्चार्ज ड्यूरिंग डिस्चार्ज लिथियम कम्स आउट ऑफ द लेयर्स ऑफ लिथियम कोवाल्ट ऑक्साइड इन लिथियम कोवाल्ट ऑक्साइड लिथियम इज देयर देन लिथियम कम्स आउट ऑफ द लेयर्स ऑफ लिथियम कोवाल्ट ऑक्साइड एज लिथियम आयन लिथियम विल कम एज लिथियम आयन एल आई प्लस पॉजिटिव चार्ज एंड माइग्रेट्स बिकॉज इट इज ए पॉजिटिव चार्ज हेंस इट विल माइग्रेट टू द अपोजिट चार्ज मीन्स नेगेटिवली चार्ज ग्रेफाइट कैथोड दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप मैकेनिज्म यू कैन टेल दैट लिथियम लिथियम एज लिथियम आयन इट कम्स आउट फ्रॉम द लिथियम कोवाल्ट ऑक्साइड एज लिथियम पॉजिटिव आयन बिकॉज इट इज पॉजिटिव एंड माइग्रेस टूवर्ड्स नेगेटिवली चार्ज ग्रेफाइट कैथोड then see charged moved charged moved movement of charge taken place and this happened during the discharge and get discharged at cathode this positive ion get discharged at negatively cathode okay positive went to negative a negative electrode that is called cathode here then there now positive lithium ion get discharged at cathode means at carbon or graphite graphite being a layered solid graphite being a layered solid accommodates lithium in its layer thus completing the conduction process then now when uh, when lithium lithium comes out from the uh, li means lithium from the lithium cobalt oxide lithium is coming out as lithium ion that time only it releases electron also it releases electron only then it is converting to lithium metal ion a lithium ion lithium met this is lithium atom li this will release one electron and lithium will convert to lithium plus means li li atom will give li 1 plus plus one electron this is the main reaction then what will happen to this electron then this electron between the ele- electrodes it will move okay it will move between the electrodes means anode and cathodes and current will flow then uh, lithium carbon uh, lithium cobalt oxide there lithium actually has converted into lithium plus plus electron then this electron through the wire it is connected there is a, a con- connection between anode and cathode then from from uh, lithium cobalt oxide there lithium ion also produced electron also produced then this electron actually will move through the wire from one end to the other end means from the cobalt uh, lithium cobalt oxide from that electrode many lico2 are there na many lico2 is there then uh, li li is converting into li plus plus electron then this electron through the wire it will go to the other electrode and current will flow current will flow correct then already i told you that now this ion positive ion will go to the negative electrode like that way and there it will it will be discharged discharged then like that way now this uh, lith always lithium will produce because lithium 
cobalt oxide that will produce lithium and electron also then electron will pass through will pass through wire connect it is connected from one to the one uh, electrode to the other electrode in the middle you can uh, use uh, any bulb or any galvanometer also you can use to measure the uh, volt or also ammeter also you can use a bulb also you can use there then it will bulb will become bright bulb will give light okay then uh, any time for any purpose you can use now correct then like that way that movement of lithium ion is from one electrode to the other correct from the uh, this uh, from the uh, from the this lithium cobalt oxide side uh, it will go to the it will go to the carbon side lithium ion there it will deposit correct like that way current will flow current will flow then now i have discussed mechanism actually how does it function little more i am telling you uh, this reaction this reaction that is actually you can uh, tell that uh, it is a redox reaction oxidation and reduction reduction redox reduction and oxidation reaction this this reaction takes place till all the line till all the lithium this reaction takes place till all the lithium in the cobalt oxide cathode dissolves and accommodated in graphite anode cuz you have taken there are many this lithium cobalt oxide is there then this reaction takes place till all the lithium in the cobalt oxide cathode dissolves and are accommodated in graphite anode when no more current can flow if it is finished all lithium ion dissolved and uh, it went to the graphite and accommodated there until lithium is there current will be flowing if this lithium finishes current stops because lithium this lithium main role is of lithium is converting into lithium plus plus electron and there i told you movement of charge movement of charge on electron is called current that current can be used for any purpose now this i told you during the discharge when you are using the battery now charging time charging time now suppose uh, all lithium finished then now again battery you have to use then you have to charge it you have to charge it on charging the reverse reaction takes place when lithium in the graphite is in the graphite it was accommodated then charging time on charging the reverse reaction takes place wherein lithium in the graphite is released as lithium ion and migrates back to the cobalt cobalt oxide layer from where it came it will go back there and that time also it will release electron it will release electron because lithium lithium is migrating you are uh, ch charging time reaction will be reverse then now uh, on charging the reverse reaction takes place where lithium in the graphite is released as lithium ions then here also electron will be produced not only lithium and lithium plus ion is because lithium is giving lithium not only lithium plus electron also then same moment again electron will flow but from opposite direction now from uh, anode side to the means from the carbon side to the uh, this this side uh, from the carbon side to the uh, cobalt oxide side 
cobalt oxide side okay now reaction is reversed correct then on charging the reversion reverse reaction takes place wherein lithium in graphite is released as lithium ions and migrates back to cobalt oxide layers thus the lithium ion battery acts as a secondary cell rechargeable secondary cell means rechargeable battery rechargeable cell and uh, now i am telling you uh, this thing sir uh reaction reaction means at anode and cathode then positive electrode what will happen at positive electrode here i told you uh, this um, positive is during discharge during discharge negative and positive are there but during uh, recharge now which was the positive that will negative which was a negative that will become positive reverse reaction will take place the sign will also change okay this you mem- remember means uh, charging time all thing will be reverse what was during discharge time then now positive electrode at positive electrode what will happen lico2 cobalt oxide lithium cobalt oxide Uh, at positive electrode lithium cobalt oxide will give or it will convert to lithium actually if you will consider uh, one for complete lithium if you are considering one or 100 like that in that suppose one or two went then out of 100 two used up then 98 is remaining like in that sense whole you can consider as a one and x from the from the one some parts uh, now converted into lithium ion that you can tell as a x suppose in bank you have kept uh, 10000 rupees and 200 rupees you have taken then now uh, 10000 minus 200 9800 is balance remaining like that way here lithium cobalt oxide Uh, it gives it converts uh, into lithium ion lithium ion suppose out of 100 x ion it converted into ion x lithium converted into ion then how much now it is remaining how much lithium is remaining now then 1 minus x from the whole x only x only x lithium only converted to x lithium ion x lithium atom now converted into x lithium ion and it produces x electron correct x electron because each lithium is giving one electron only then this reaction takes place at positive electrode again i am telling you li cobalt means lithium cobalt oxide it is giving li means uh, this li positive lithium ion it is giving x has came out from the lithium cobalt oxide x lithium came out then now li 1 minus x cobalt oxide is remaining and it is giving two things lithium ion and electron means x l x li x li plus means x lithium ion plus x electron now this these two lithium ion x lithium ion and x electron now it will come to the graphite site graphite site it will come to the graphite and there there because that is actually negative electrode that is at negative electrode what will happen x li and x electron what came out from the positive electrode at negative electrode now with graphite it will be discharged there it will accommodate on graphite means negative electrode this lithium ion and this lithium ion and electron will be accommodated and it will form it will form there xli graphite there it will form xli 
graphite x lithium graphite correct then i told you reaction at positive electrode reaction at negative electrode with discharge the cobalt is oxidized during discharge other things what will happen i am telling you with discharge using time when you are using the battery that time cobalt is oxidized from co3 plus to co4 plus actually cobalt in the beginning it will be the co3 plus now after losing it will lose the electron it will also lose the electron and then after losing 3 plus will become 4 plus because now one electron lost this is called oxidation loss of electron is called oxidation then cobalt 3 plus now converted to cobalt cobalt 4 plus the reverse process the reverse process that is called reduction occurs when the battery is being charged okay charge time when you are charging then this reaction also takes place during uh, during use or during discharge cobalt 3 plus convert to the cobalt 4 plus this is called oxidation and during charging reaction will reverse cobalt cobalt 4 plus will convert to the cobalt 3 plus 3 plus this is this is called reverse reaction means uh, loss of electron is called loss of electron is called oxidation and gain of electron is called reduction then co3 plus when it is give a converting to co3 plus to co4 co4 plus one electron it is losing then this is oxidation reverse case when co4 plus is converting to co3 plus then that time it is gaining electron that's why it's called reduction the reverse process occurs when the battery is being charged okay lithium ion batteries have comparatively low self discharge and have higher energy density this is the plus point of lithium ion batteries they are used in guide gates which use reversible cells such as laptop and mobile in laptops and mobile these uh, these batteries are used lithium ion batteries now we can understand that now everywhere in the world people are using laptops and laptops and mobiles and lithium ion is the most latest uh, latest then now we can understand the value of lithium ion batteries without batteries no no computer no laptop no mobile correct Uh, it, nothing will work then here can understand the importance of lithium ion batteries now i want to differentiate between lithium battery and lithium ion battery actually lithium battery itself is a important battery first lithium battery was formed hai na and in that also uh, to improve this lithium battery lithium ion battery was formed then what is the lithium battery and lithium lithium ion battery difference i am going to tell difference between lithium battery and lithium ion battery okay lithium ion battery is the latest then now first uh, first difference i am telling you lithium battery is a primary battery whereas lithium ion battery is secondary lithium battery is primary battery use and throw but lithium ion battery is a secondary battery you can recharge it is rechargeable rechargeable battery second lithium battery uses lithium in pure form as anode whereas lithium ion battery uses compounds of lithium such as lithium cobalt oxide as anode understood second again i am telling you second uh, difference lithium battery uses in pure form lithium battery uses lithium in pure form 
एज एन ऑड वेर एज लिथियम आयन बैटरी यूजेज कंपाउंड ऑफ लिथियम सच एज लिथियम कोवाल्ट ऑक्साइड एज एनोड इन बोथ केसेज इट इज यूज एज एनोड नाउ थर्ड थर्ड डिफरेंस इन लिथियम बैटरी इंटरकालेशन ऑकर्स ऑन ओनली वन इलेक्ट्रोड ओनली इन वन इलेक्ट्रोड इन लिथियम बैटरी वेर एज इन लिथियम आयन बैटरी लिथियम आयन्स आर डिपोजिटेड ऑन द इलेक्ट्रोड्स मीन्स बोथ ओके ऑन बोथ इलेक्ट्रोड्स by intercalation okay at both electrodes this is the third difference again i am telling you in lithium battery intercalation occurs on only one electrode whereas in lithium ion battery lithium ions are deposited on the electrodes by inter intercalation at both electrodes not only one in both electrodes and uh, one more differences is there lithium ion battery is, has a longer shelf life than lithium battery <coughs> lithium ion battery has a longer shelf life than lithium battery means it will work for lithium ion life is more lithium ion battery life is longer more than lithium battery now i am stopping only here thank you